In this short video, I will show you how to fix a common problem when trying to install the pandas library in Rhino 8's new script editor. When you make a new C Python component in Grasshopper, you can access all the Python packages out there on the web. There are two easy ways to install this. First is to type hash r colon and type in the library, such as pandas. The second is to click on this box icon and type the library and press install. This green bar will then load up and install the package. It's been installed now, but it hasn't been imported. To import it, you can type pandas as pd, pd is the alias, and then press run. And then you might get this unknown locale error. So locales are used by software to format dates, times, numbers, and strings in a way that is appropriate for the specified language and region. This error can happen during the installation of Python packages such as pandas if the locale is set to a value that is not supported, like in this case. So we need to set the locale on a system. This can be done with a few simple lines of code. So type at the top, import locale. And then write locale.setLocale and within parentheses, copy these details which I'm writing in here which I'm setting it to US locale. But now for this, type in locale.getLocale. There's a chance that you might get another error saying that this module has been partially initialized. That is because we need to set this locale at install. To do this, you will need to go to your local Grasshopper Python environment, which you will find in this path under whichever user account you have. So you will have to, unfortunately, delete all these packages to install pandas. So you need to save and close Rhino. So do that first. And now you can delete all. When you reload Rhino and open your script, it will just take a minute to install the local environment again, since we deleted everything with the pandas. But this time, it will install the library again with the correct locale. So now if you run the script, it runs with no errors. Just to prove this, I'll make a simple data frame I'll make three lists with rooms and the areas and heights. Uh, grasshopper inputs can replace these rather than hard coding them, of course. And then I'll make a data structure to have matching column names. Now I can use the pd.dataframe function for this data. When I output this to A, and if I add a panel, you will see a beautiful data frame with our rooms, which you can then add geometries to further manipulate. I hope that this solved a common issue which you may come across. I'll see you in the next video.